Hello everyone, my name is Umar. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So in today's video, we are going to talk about path attribute manipulation in BGP. So let me walk you through the topology first, what we have set up, what we are going to do and how we are going to do it. So in this particular diagram, you see the topology which has been set up. So we have used a GNS to set up this topology. Now what I have done is I have used the interface, the physical interface addresses only for the purpose of neighbor relationships. So you have AS123, R2 is acting as a route reflector. I have the other autonomous systems, AS400, 500, 670 and 800. Whatever networks you see which are written alongside the routers like this. So these are my loopback addresses which I have configured on the routers. And these are the networks which are, act uh, which are uh, advertised in BGP as well. Okay, so the physical addresses are just used for the purpose of neighbor establishment. The loopback networks are the networks which are advertised in BGP and they can ping from, uh, they can ping to each other. Okay, so just to verify that, let me take you to one of my routers, R8 over here, and just check the BGP table. So show IP BGP. And uh, these are my networks. Let's try to ping so let's ping uh, 20.1.1.1 which is behind r2 from my source that is 80.1.1.1 and we have connectivity okay so the network is up and running now what we are going to do in today's video is we are going to talk about two golden rules in bgp and manipulate some attributes so the first rule says incoming updates affect outgoing traffic the second rule says outgoing updates affect your incoming traffic now what are the incoming updates now in bgp you have multiple path attributes we are not discussing the path attributes over here nor are we discussing uh, what is the path selection algorithm which is used in bgp so i hope you have that background clear we are just going to manipulate some of the attributes and see how this is going to affect the traffic over there so in incoming updates we have two of them you have weight and you have your local preference okay in your outgoing updates you have your as path that is one of them you have your origin the second one and you have the med so in today's video we're just going to talk about this first rule that is how incoming updates affect your outgoing traffic so we're going to manipulate weight and local preference i'll be making another video which will be out on monday in which i'll be discussing about the as path origin and med value Okay, so let's talk about the things which are going to do today, the weight and the local preference. So I'll just write down a few things about weight over here before I start manipulating that and I'll define my use case then. So weight is a Cisco proprietary attribute. Okay, it is local only to the router and not to the AS. So local to routers, not the entire autonomous system. Third higher value is preferred so i'll just write higher the better okay and uh, the default uh, weight values which we see in our bgp uh, over here is zero for remote networks now remote networks that means networks are not coming uh, which are not originated at your router they are coming in from some different autonomous system and three two seven six eight for networks which are in your or own AS, like you know, which are locally originated by the router itself. So, for locally originated networks, you have the weight to weight as 32768. Now, weight is an incoming update. So, whatever now, let's now okay. So, I'll just uh, define the use case now. So, what we are going to do today is for weight, we'll concentrate on this particular AS800 and we're going to concentrate on this router R8. Now uh, for R8, let's talk about this network, the 20 network, the networks coming in from R2, okay, from AS123. So over here, by default, BGP prefers the shortest AS path. So obviously, the networks are getting originated in 123, they are moving on to 500, then they are going to 800. The second path which these networks have is they are originating in 123, going to 500, going to 670 and then coming back to 800, okay. So the shorter AS path is obviously this one. So this is the shorter AS path. So R8 will always use this path to reach that particular network. R8 has another path to go via R7, 
but again that being a longer as part it won't really use that what we are going to do is we are going to change the weight parameter for this neighbor so for let's say for r7 we are going to change the weight parameter so over here when i'm getting my update in from r7 i'll make the weight as 100 and over here i'll keep the weight as 0 which is the default value now what will happen when r8 sees that it is getting a better weight value from r7 it will start preferring r7 over r5 the reason being weight is preferred uh, before your as path so the path selection algorithm of bgp the weight comes in before the as path value and a higher weight will be preferred so i'll be i'll be changing this value to 100 and i will seeing i'll be seeing that r8 is going to prefer r7 to reach this particular networks over here so i won't be doing it for both the network so i'll be just doing it for the first network that is 20.1.1.0 so 20.1.1.0 slash 24 the next network 20.1.2.0 will keep it to default so you will be able to see both the paths over there so before we start doing it let's do some pre-checks and let's see how r8 is preferring the 20 network right now okay so show ip bgp and uh, what do i see over here the 20.1.1.0 slash 24 is coming in via the shorter AS path that is originating in 123 and then coming to 500 and then coming to us okay via 70.110 10.2 which is r5 the second path is available over here but it is not getting preferred because it is a longer as value okay the second network again the same thing the shorter as is preferred so i'll just keep this to be as is and for this entry i'll be going and changing the weight so i'll be changing the weight only for the 20.1.1.0 slash 24 okay so let's get started with the configuration uh, let's take a moment just take a minute and just remember these results over here because after the configuration the results are going to change so config t uh, router bgp 800 okay i won't i'll just start with the route map first sorry so route map let's name give it a name let's say wt okay set weight 100 and uh, i want to do it only for one network so i'll just match an ip address match an access list over there so match ip address 10 so that is nothing but my standard access list okay and uh, i'll say the remaining uh networks should be just permitted so my second statement of my route map uh sorry route map uh, permit 20. okay okay so i think we have messed up so i'll just remove this i'll just set it up again the route map wait route map wt okay set weight 100 match ip address 10 and permit the second statement so the rest of the conditions should be true instead of default deny we just do a default permit route map 8 permit 20 i have to define an access list where i have to permit my network so access list permit 20.1.1.0.000.255 okay so i'm just permitting uh, one particular network in my route map and then i have to go and apply this to my neighbor so router bgp 800 my neighbor is 71.101.10.1 uh, route map wt in the incoming direction it's an incoming update okay so once that is done i have to just clear the incoming updates so clear ip bgp star in okay once that is done let's check the results so now what do we expect now we will be seeing that the 20.1.1.0 will be using the longer as path with a better weight value and the 20.1.2.0 will be using a shorter as path because the weight on both the path will be zero so let's do that and here we go so we have 20.1.1.0 now getting preferred via 71 110.1 though a longer as path but a better weight value and for the next network we still have both the paths available but it is preferring the shorter as path because the weight value over there was set as default so this was the first use case which i wanted to discuss 
So the weight has been successfully manipulated. We have seen the configuration and we have seen the results as well. Now let me just, just give me a moment and I'll just pause this video. I'll clear whatever I have drawn on the screen and I'll discuss the next use case about the local preference value. Okay, so well, the screen has been cleared. Now let's talk about the second value, which is your local preference. So local preference is going to affect your entire autonomous system rather than just affecting the single router. So it affects entire AS. Okay, and uh, default value is hundred. So default is hundred and again higher the better so these three things you have to remember higher the better uh, default value is hundred and it affects the entire autonomous system and again it's an incoming update now what is the use case which you are going to talk about so i'll be talking about r1 and r3 for this particular network the 60.1.1.0 slash 24. now if you look at this network 60.1.1.0 24 it is going to come in uh, to R1 uh, via the straight path. So it will go to R4 and it will come into R1. For R3, R3 is, I'll just use a different color. So for R3, it will come in via this path. That is, it will go to R7, go to AS500 and come to R3. And it will also be coming in via R1. Okay. So just to verify that, just to show you that it is getting the, those two routes, let me go to R3. Okay, here we are at R3. Okay, let's, let's get it over here and show IP. So, well, so what do we see over here is 60 is coming in via 67, that is uh, via AS500. So, which is my AS500, so this is my AS500, that is R5. And we are also getting the same network via 192.168.1.1 which is nothing but my r1 okay the local preference value is 100 this is an ibgp path this is an ebgp path now if you have studied the path selection algorithm in bgp it always says that it prefers ebgp over ibgp and that is where the tiebreaker happens for both these uh like you know both these routers so what happens is now see the as path length is same so we have the same AS path length, we have the same weight, we have the same local preference, we have the same origin. So here uh, the thing goes down to prefer EBGP over IBGP and hence R3 is preferring the EBGP path which is coming in via AS500 rather than the network which is coming in via R1. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to change the local preference on R1. So what we are going to do is whenever we are getting an update from r4 so from here i'll just make the local preference as a value of let's say 110 now from r5 it is getting a value of 100 but this value is going to affect the entire autonomous system so this will be translated this will be transmitted to r3 as well so r3 will now be getting a value of 110 from r1 and it is getting a value of 100 from r5 then r3 according to the path selection algorithm it will prefer the route with the highest local preference value rather than choosing ebgp over ibgp so this is what we have to do so we are going to change the values at r1 it is going to affect the entire autonomous system so r3 when it will see that update coming in and that update will be coming in with a value of 110 we are not going to do any changes on r3 or r5 so the values will be set to like a cap to default uh, only the changes we are going to do it is r1 and this incoming update at r3 is now going to affect the outgoing traffic so r3 will start preferring r1 to reach that particular network rather than going via r5 okay so this part will no longer be preferred and this part will be preferred after we do the configuration so the entire configuration has to be done on r1 so let me get r1 in front yeah this is r1 okay uh so let's start with the configuration so what we are going to do first we are going to set up a route map let's name it lp uh set the local preference value as 110 and match ip address so that's just basically matching an access list 
to permit only the 60 networks. So this time I'll use a number, let's say 44. The standard ACL number can be from 0 to, oh sorry, from 1 to 99. Okay. And I'll permit the rest of the networks as is. So route map LP permit 20. Okay. Define the access list. So access list of 44, which I have used over here, uh, permit the 60.1.1.0 network. Okay. And uh, router BGP to send, I have to apply this, so I have to apply this route map to my R4 neighbor. And what is my R4's neighbor address? It's, I guess, 68. Okay, so router BGP 123, we are at 123. Neighbor 68.110.10.2 uh, route map LP in the incoming direction. Exit. Okay. Exit clear the incoming updates. So clear IP BGP star in. Then the same thing I'm going to do at R3. Clear IP BGP star in. Okay. So first I'll just show you at R1 the result and then I'll show you at R3. So show IP BGP. Here we see that the 60 network is now coming in with a local preference value of 110 and I'll go and check this at R3. Now how R3 is going to reach that particular network. So I'll just minimize this. Okay. And you have, so we see this table, uh, the previous table before we did the manipulation and let's do another check over here. So now you see, I'll just maximize this. So what do you see in the old output, you see the 60 is getting preferred via 67, uh, that is from 500. But after the change in the local preference value, the best path has moved to R1 because we are getting a better local preference value of 110 and this is the AS path. So it is now going to prefer an IBGP network over an EBGP network just because I manipulated the local preference value. So this is what we wanted to check in uh, today's video so i'll just i just i didn't want to make the video uh, very long so hence this video is broken into two parts so on monday the next video will be out in which we'll be doing some manipulation of outgoing updates and how they affect the incoming traffic so in that video we're going to talk about as path origin and med so i hope this has been informative thank you for watching you can comment down your thoughts below if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, do subscribe. We have videos coming in every Monday and Friday on different topics. You can see the other videos which we have posted on SDVAN, Palo Alto and F5. Thank you for watching guys. Take care. Bye-bye.